Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Brain Gun. That's a 170 second scale aircraft kit which copies Mr. Schmidt BF 109T2 and that's a new release from Czech company which is already available, that's a commercial sample and now we have a chance to check it closer. So obviously it will copy uh, one of the last versions of the Spamos aircraft. We have it depicted here on the box art and here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big box I would say. On the sides we have some information about manufacturer, so as you can see we have some safety devices as well as others of this company. And on the other side we have again name of the model, scale and the product number. On the back side we have also marking guides for four marking options which are included into this kit. So as you can see we have here, uh, that's a Norway aircraft, this one was also in Norway, this one was in Germany 1943 and this one comes from Norway summer 1944. Now let's open this box and check what is inside. Meanwhile I will remind you that we are gathering money for the new camera and new photo and video equipment because our tripod is barely standing and you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy and of course you decide the amount we will get from you and be sure that all this money will be used for the new photo and video equipment. So as you can see here we have assembly menu, plastic bag with decals and of course plastic sprues. I would like to start with plastic sprues and here first of all we have this frame with wing parts. Let's zoom in so that you can see them closer and overall molding quality seems to be fine. We have recessed panel lines, note that as far as I can guess these flaps are molded separately so maybe you will be able even to retract them on your aircraft. That's not that, um, let's say, common feature on 172nd scale aircraft kits. Then here we have also some detailing for wheel wells. And note that there are no position pins, but those wing ends will serve as a guiding elements while using, while installing those wings in place. Next we have another grey plastic sprue. This one is more concerned with various minor elements. As you can see here we have one piece propeller, this cockpit base, also we have here one piece landing gear wheels, dashboard, landing gear legs, landing gear covers and various minor elements for external and internal detailing. Again molding quality is on the same level so you won't find any problematic spots here and I think it will be easy to assemble these parts together uh, even though they're really small here, you can see comparison with my fingertip, this propeller is not that big. And last but not the least is this plastic sprue. Let's zoom out a bit so that you can see whole sprue. And as you can see here, we have fuselage halves and both fuselage halves are designed together with tail segment. Also here we have lower wing half. Um, top cooling section is molded separately, here it is. And note that it is pre-molded together with gun barrels. Here we have separately molded rudder. This is, uh, uh, those are two parts for fuel tank. Here we have also some cockpit elements and those are one piece tail wings. Let's check closer molding quality of the fuselage half. So I will focus the camera. And now you can see that here we have pre-molded exhausts. Of course, we have also recessed panel lines. And again, molding quality seems to be fine for such small scale. Let's flip it over. Inside we have cockpit detailing. We don't have any position elements, so be careful while joining these two halves together. And here you can see another fuselage half. Again, the same level of detailing. These pins won't be a problem during assembly because they are not now uh, getting into the way of some joining parts. Now uh, the only thing I am a bit wondering is this. Maybe it's a uh, molding damage. And here you can see again recess panel lines and exhaust of course. And of course air, ex um, air intake is molded separately. It will have to be assembled separately as well. Next we have decals sheet which is packed together with um, resin parts and also transparent sprue. So just give me a second to open them and we'll take a closer look. 
Okay, so first I would like to show you this uh, resin frame or resin base, let's say. Here we have minor resin parts. Let's not forget that this is 170 second scale, that's why there is that small. Here we have air intake and also some minor external elements which will be needed to copy this particular version of BF109. Next we have transparent plastic sprue. This one looks good and as you can see here we have all necessary parts for the canopy. Of course um, it will be assembled out of three components as you can see here. And again, of course, you will be able to replicate open cockpit on your model. The only thing you will need here is mask sheet because masks are not included into this kit and you will have to cut them with your own hands or maybe search for some aftermarket set which will help you with this. Next is a decal sheet. Here it is. Let's focus the camera on this one. Printing quality seems to be nice. There is no mention where it was printed, but as you remember, we have all necessary symbols for four marking options, which are included here. And I think they will be easy to work. And note that swastika is divided like this. So it is included, but you will have to work a bit in order to replicate it on your aircraft, if you would like to. And next, last but not the least, is this assembly manual which is printed in black and white. On the first page we have parts map. And note that these wing parts won't be used. Also some parts here won't be used, so they will go into your spare parts. Then here we have assembly process explained with help of these simple schemes. So process starts with cockpit, of course. And here you will have some space for super detailing because as you remember, no seat belts are included, no dashboard PE is included. So you might add some uh, additional parts, let's say. Then we continue with fuselage halves joining. Then we add here tail fairing, also engine cooling. Here we assemble wing together with those flaps. And note that for air intakes, we will use resin parts. That's quite surprising. And in total, you will have to perform one, two, three, four, five steps. Six is a final when you join propeller and wing, and then you just assemble landing gear wheels, uh, some of the canopy parts, and also if you want to, you also install the fuel tank on this aircraft, and that's pretty much all. As you remember, marking guide is printed on the back side of the box, it is printed in color, so you will be able to understand which paint to use for your model. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it looks like a nice 170 second scale kit. Of course, it's not for beginners due to some um, design features, let's say, but professional modelers will be able to get a really nice model in small scale. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.